I've, uh, I've struggled with my weight ever since the military. I've been 280, I've been down to 200. But I have a daughter now and there's no room for, there's no room for excuses anymore. <clears throat> when I joined the military, I joined in 2004, January 27th, 2004 is when I joined. I was, I don't know, you make me do the math on it now, I was approximately, I was 20 years old at the time. Um, I had uh, attended uh, college right out of high school and that wasn't really sitting well with me and I needed a, a change and so I joined the military and, and uh, found a direction and purpose in my life that uh, wasn't there before. Um, so it was a very interesting time. It taught me a lot about myself, left a lot of deep impressions, both good and bad. Um, and I've struggled with a lot of those things ever since. And uh, now, luckily, I finally I finished my degree, and now I work for the U.S. Department of Labor, OSHA, as a compliance officer, where I investigate construction sites, um, and I, uh, I conduct inspections to determine if there's any safety violations that uh, are likely to cause death or permanent disability. Um, that's what I do now. And when we talk about why I filled out the application and why I wanted to be a part of this, it's because I now have a seven-month-old daughter. She turned seven months old yesterday, uh, February 7th. She was born July 7th. She was born six and a half weeks early, which was a tough time. She spent a month in the NICU, and we had to go through all that. And um, Prior to uh, my daughter being born, um, I would lost two children. Uh, my son was born uh, September 10th, 2012, and he uh, was born with congenital heart defects, and we lost, we lost our son at six weeks old. He passed on October 23rd, 2012, which was a, a, you know, a sobering reality because on November 23rd, 2011, my, daughter, my first daughter was stillborn. So I've had a lot of child loss, which makes me appreciate my daughter now even more. Best thing in the world that ever happened to me. I was terrified about it, of course, because, you know, who knows if I was going to lose her, too. But she's here now, and I'm going to do everything that I can and not have any excuses. No excuses. My daughter deserves the best for me, and I'm going to give the best to her, and that's why I'm in this program, because I know that... Uh, the additional support that I'm going to get through the program, the additional guidance and professional um, uh, advice and, and, and critiques and, and experience that they're going to be able to provide for me. I know that they're going to be able to help me out, get where I need to go so that I can be 100% for my daughter. And that's, uh, that's the only thing in the world that matters to me now.